Hi, my name is James and this is James Loves Games and this video is all about how to fix encoding lag in OBS when your CPU usage is about 3%. I have struggled with this issue a lot where I've, I've gone through all the settings in OBS, I've scoured the internet for solutions and I have looked over every possible option in OBS and I still get encoding lag whenever I try to make a video. Whenever I stream, everything runs smoothly and everything works fine, and the stream looks great after I watch it later, but whenever I try to record a video, it gets that encoding lag, and I get little clumps, a few seconds where it just freezes up the video, and I get tons and tons of skipped frames due to encoding lag. And I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. Spoilers, you need a solid state drive, and I'll tell you why right now. Okay, so this is what my OBS screen top looks like. I've got my game here running in the background. I've got my little circle in the top right with my face in it, hey. And I've got uh, my little stats window here. And if you haven't done this yet, go ahead and go over to a view stats and uh, i've got it docked right here so that i can monitor everything and if you look right here you're going to have these a lot of different stats here you've got cp usage right here right now i'm rocking about 13 percent and these are the ones that have been a problem for me frames missed due to rendering lag and for and skipped frames due to encoding lag this is the big one that has been giving me trouble and i've seen lots of stuff online about how to go through the options and select this type of bit rate or this type of resolution and all this other stuff the fact of the matter is everybody's setup is different and everybody is going to have different settings. And so there's no point in me telling you what settings to have. You know what settings work. In this PC, I have an i9 processor from Intel. And I know for a fact that I will not have any problem with encoding lag, making a video of a game at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I know that's not an issue. I tried everything under the sun until I finally realized that the file that I was exporting my videos to, where they were being saved as they were being written, was to a disk drive, a regular old hard disk drive. And I saw online in a forum after digging super deep that if you switch to a solid state drive, it has a faster write speed and it's able to keep up with all of the processing that you're doing with your high CPU. And it's sort of like if you're dictating to somebody, if you're saying, okay, I need you to write something down for me real quick, I'm gonna dictate a letter to you. If the person talks really fast and you're having to write it out by hand, if you write really slow, that person is gonna to have to stop talking so that you can catch up and then start talking again. And this is exactly what is happening with the hard drive. I had this old hard disk drive that just couldn't keep up with the processing speeds of 1080p, 60 frames per second encoding. And so I swapped out to a solid state drive. I basically just rerouted the folder and said, save my videos to the solid state drive. Boom, no problem. So that's basically it. Okay, so here I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima and I have switched back to my hard disk drive folder. And we're gonna walk around and play a little bit and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's gonna run fine for a while. Oh, that's not my horse. It's going to run fine for a while, but after a few seconds, you're going to notice... Oh, well, you're my horse now. Okay, that's cool. Let's just ride somewhere, shall we? And as I said, all the settings are the same. This is a 1080p, 60 frames a second. And before too long, it's going to get a little janky. There we go. See the red? Right here. This is what I'm talking about. Now, my CPU usage did go up a little bit, but this is what I'm talking about. You know, even 30%, 40% CPU usage, there's, there's no reason to get to this point right here with all this red. 18% skipped frames. Give me a break, okay? So if you're having this problem, it might not be the settings. It might be your hard drive. Okay, so I've rerouted back to my solid state drive folder. And we are streaming, and it is buttery smooth. Zero frames missed due to rendering lag, and zero skipped frames due to encoding lag. 
And so this is basically what I'm talking about. It is a very simple fix. If you've gone through all the settings, you feel like you know OBS like the back of your hand at this point, and you just don't know what to do, stream's fine, but making videos is a chore. This, this is what worked for me, and I had a hard time finding help with this issue on the internet. I'm happy to have been able to solve this issue, and I hope it helps you too. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you, please uh, hit like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time right here on... Games. Still no skip frames.